Hey guys, Henry here, and today we're going to be talking about the television show Chuck and whether it's worth a watch. So Chuck is an action comedy that follows the main character Chuck Bartowski, played by Zachary Levi, as a buy more computer geek who accidentally downloads a database of government information and deadly fighting and combat skills into his brain. He then becomes a vital asset as well as a secret to the CIA. The show lasted five seasons, with the first and the last having 13 episodes and the others having roughly 20 episodes each. Each episode had a runtime of about 40 to 45 minutes, and essentially the show follows Chuck on his journey to discovering what is actually in his head and his road to becoming an actual spy. The show follows a linear progression. It it does actually follow on. It's not one of those sitcoms that you can just uh, sit down and watch. You probably would need to watch the beginning to the end to get the full context of what is going on. The show is unique in the way that it combines the seriousness of the CIA and the nerdiness and quirkiness of tech support. It is an unlikely pairing with characters from both sides uh, being extremely different at the very beginning and there's major conflicts and differences in their approaches to life and their decision making but as time goes on they start to mesh well the characters grow together they build relationships and eventually as as the seasons go on they really synthesize together and they work really really well as a team what i loved most about the show is the fleshed out characters i love the main character chuck because he is lovable and he shows the biggest evolution and maturity throughout the show essentially he's someone that an everyday person with a not maybe not so exciting life can really relate to and even though he wants that thrill of being a spy he doesn't really know what he's actually in for and that's sort of what we all think right we want to be spies we want to be astronauts but we don't know the baggage that comes with that and this show sort of fleshes that out and exposes him to those dangers and those risks and he takes those challenges on and that's what we all would expect in ourselves if we were faced with those types of challenges in our lives. Another one of my favorite characters is the hard-assed Casey. He's like a by-the-book spy. He's extremely stern-faced. He's always scowling. He's always really hard on Chuck, and he always wants to do things the right way. And he's not a person of compromise. But his evolution is really interesting as well because he develops relationships with these sort of softies, I guess, that work in tech support and the nerd herd. And essentially, he grows as a person himself and is able to connect with his inner emotions, and that makes him a better person. Even even the subplot characters of Jeff and Lester and the other employees in the Buy More is really interesting and entertaining to watch and those subplots are mixed in with the main plots sometimes and it works really well and it provides some really entertaining episodes. So this show, it has elements of comedy, romance, drama and of course action. And again the core essence of the show is the main character of Chuck and Zachary Levi he does a really, really good job making him so lovable and relatable. You just want him to succeed in what he's doing. When it comes down to it, the show is ultimately about a guy with this extraordinary gift, or he's given this extraordinary gift. As cheesy as it sounds, it's not the gift that makes him who he is. He is who he is because that's who he grew up to be. He just got the gift at a later point in life, and by being himself and accepting himself and his own uniqueness, he is able to do great things. An interesting note about Chuck is that after season two, it risked getting cancelled. It was actually saved by the fans, and it actually got sponsorship by Subway, and that's why they're always eating subs in the show. Overall, the show is really entertaining. It is not, you know, a hard hitter like Game of Thrones or Stranger Things, but it's just a really easy show to watch and really easy to get to love the characters, get to know them better, and you just want what's best for the characters. And I would actually recommend that you watch the entire show. I loved it. It was one of the first shows that I actually watched uh, when I was younger. Thank you for watching this Worth a Watch, and I hope you liked it. I hope it convinced you to give Chuck a watch. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up, and if you want to see more reviews and more content from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I also want to know what you guys thought about Chuck. After you watched it, come back to this video and write a comment, or if you've seen it before, let me know what you thought. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. I also want to know what other TV shows or movies would you like me to watch and do a review and tell you guys whether it's worth a watch. I will do the hard yards. I will waste my time to watch these videos and tell you guys whether it's worth a watch. So be sure to comment any shows or any movies you think I should watch in the comment section below. Thank you guys again and I'll catch you guys later.